Hi everyone, welcome to Nares Technologies. This is Srinivas. Today we are going to discuss a so very important concept in a C language. So that is arrays. First one, what is array? What is array? Array is an aggregate data type or we can call it as a derived data type also. What is the main use of arrays? So, why we are using arrays in a C language? Just consider, just consider, take one primitive data type variable, integer a. This is primitive variable declaration. A gets memory allocation somewhere. A gets memory allocation. And next we are assigning one value to a for example 10 we are assigning to a 10 we are assigning to a the 10 will go and store into a into a for example we are trying to store another value 20 into a can we store the next value of course we can but that will replace the existing value 10 value is replaces with the new value 20. So, that is a main problem using one primitive variable we can store only one value at a time multiple values we cannot store that is impossible case. This is the main disadvantage of a primitive data type. So, then how can we rectify the problem? Sir, I want to store more than one element. For example, students marks I want to store or for example, mobile numbers I want to store, right? Employee numbers we want to store, some student IDs I want to store. Then how can we store, sir? If 100 students are there to store ID number of each student, 100 variables we have to declare. Is that possible? Impossible. Very complex declaration of 100 variables and working with 100 variables one by one individually is very very complex task in a programming language. So, that is why they introduce the concept of arrays. Using an array we can store n number of elements more than one element right using a single array variable using a single array variable we can store n number of elements, but of same data type only homogeneous data elements allowed into arrays. Either all the elements are integer type, either all the elements are float type, either all elements are double type, only homogeneous elements allowed that is it that is called array. How the declaration will be? syntax, a declaration and some examples we will see. Declaration of array, here this is a syntax how to declare array in the application. So, generally how to declare a variable parallelly we will see example also then you will understand more clearly. I am declaring int, int a, a is a identity int is a data type, a is a identity, int is a data type. This is just declaration of variable already we know. Now, the new thing is added here you have to specify how many elements you want to store, what is the size of array here along with the identity you should specify the size of the array. This is a new thing added to the syntax of the variable. Okay? Now, a is a array variable. How the memory allocation will be? Simple. A block of memory will be allocated. Block of memory. Five locations because the size is a five. And array elements always we can process with the help of index number. Index number starts with a 0 to size minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 because size is a 5. 
size minus 1, 5 minus 1 is a 4. And here it is a memory block. Starting address is a random address only, 2046 consider. This array address A will hold. A is an array variable, right? Array variable always holds the base address of the memory block so that it will pointing. Sir, here it is only pointers hold addresses, but here it is a variable is hold the address. Where is the pointer in the declaration, sir? Pointer means asterisk. So, nothing but a star. Where is the pointer, sir, here? Array variable is called internal pointer variable. What is this? Internal pointer variable. It holds the base address of the array. It holds the base address of the array. Sir, remaining blocks addresses? Integer occupies so 2 bytes consider. So, each element occupies 2 bytes. So, first one 2 bytes, 2046 and 47. Next one 2048, 2050, 2052, 2054. Total 10 bytes memory will be allocated to this array because it is storing 5 integer elements. It is storing 5 integer elements. So, 5 into 2, 10 bytes memory a block will occupy. Array elements we can access using its index number only. Very, very important thing. And next one, array variable always holds the base address of the memory block. Base address means what? The block main address is called base address. Who will hold that base address? Variable A. Array variable holds the base address. Right? So, that is why it is called internal pointer variable because pointer variables only holds the base address of the blocks. Okay? Memory address of the block. So, this is a declaration, example and how the memory will be allocated. And next one, local declarations and global declarations of array. For example, if you take a general variable, primitive variable, a primitive variable you can declare either globally or locally. So, locally means what? Just declaration inside a block or method. A global means what outside to all the methods is called a global declaration. Right? How we are declaring a general variables a globally and locally? Array variables also we can declare in the same way. Suppose first we will see local declarations. Local declarations inside the method. Here at the time of declaration if you want to provide some elements, if you want to assign some values into the array, directly you can assign using assignment operator, nothing but arrays we can initialize directly, chances are there. Suppose here, I am declaring array int arr, int arr and the size is a 5 size is a 5. Suppose if you are not initializing with any values, here all the locations are initializes with the garbage values. All these locations initializes with the garbage values. Why? Reasons already we know. Local variables in C language initialize with the garbage values. If you do not initialize with any manual value is a garbage value. For example, sir, I am declaring like this int arr, int arr, this is providing initialization. Here, values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then, 5 locations initializes with the 5 values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. This is direct initialization using assignment operator and by using braces 
all the elements of array we can initialize directly that is a possibility. Next for example, I am declaring array array, but I am initializing only two values only two values I am assigning sir what about the remaining values remaining values 10 20 remaining all the elements are initializes with the zeros difference is there just observe carefully first declaration and the third declaration in the first declaration if you are not initializing at least with one element all the elements are initializes with the garbage values but in the third case if you are assigning only two elements sir what about the remaining three elements remaining three locations initializes with zeros initializes with zeros that is important sir global declaration global declarations we can declare an array globally also outside to all the methods global variable means a declaration of a variable outside to all the functions in the program. So, here I am declaring one array, I am not initializing with any value, but no problem all the five locations initializes with the zeros because a global variable a default integer value is a zero that we already discussed in a variables concept. Okay? So, this is the global declaration and uh, local declaration of arrays. Okay. So, now we will see how to process the elements of arrays. This is also very, very important. How to process the elements of array? The thing is using iterators. Sir, what is an iterator? It is a loop. Sir, why we are using array elements? I mean, processing array elements using iterator sir a simple reason suppose array size is a hundred if you want to read one element one time you are writing a scanf function if you want to print one element so one time you will write a printf and scanf happy suppose in the array hundred elements you have to read and hundred elements you have to print what you will do will you write a hundred times a printf function and hundred times a scanf function impossible case we can't define right 100 times printf and 100 times a scanf instead of that it's better to go for a loop based on index of the array how very simple this is array this is array suppose size is a 5 consider so index is a 1 2 3 4 starts with a 0 this is ARR of 5. Sir, what type? Integer type consider. Integer addresses very, very important. 2046, 2048, 2050, 2052, 2054. Addresses. How to read and how to print the element? For example, we are repeating the for loop this is for reading purpose we are reading elements reading purpose we are using for loop for index number starts with a 0 index number starts with a 0 up to less than size because up to 4 i is less than 5 location by location 1 by 1 it is increasing scan f I want to read element by element only one integer I want to read so one time format specifier of integer percentage d first iteration i value 0 so 0th location address is very very important arr of 0 address arr of 0 means what i address this is reading this is reading whenever i value 0 whenever i value 0 i equals to 0 then arr of 0 address so what is that arr of 0 address 2046 so first element will be scanned first element will be read into 
2046 location when i equals to 1 2048 1 address 2048 when i equals to 2 2050 so like that every location address we are providing very clearly to read the elements into locations into array for example they are providing the values 10 20 30 40 50 then we are reading 10 20 30 40 50 reading over next suppose if you want to print how to print elements of array here now this is printing of array same for loop we are using index number starts with a 0 to 5 0 to 5 right so 0 to 5 we are reading then how simply printf printf sir for printf so what is required location address or location for scanf we need to provide address for printf we need to provide location arr of 0 location arr of 1 location nothing but just simply arr of i enough the only difference between scanf and printf is in case of scanf we need to provide address of each location in case of printf directly we are providing the location either you want to read or you want to print or you you want to process the elements of array it is better to use iterators concept it is better to use any loop either while loop do while loop or for loop so that easily we can process the elements okay in the next session so we'll see the more technical examples and more interview point of view questions on arrays so this is all about this session for more videos so please subscribe to naresh it channel thank you all